Hey everybody, Billy here from Billy's Bike Adventures. On January the 20th, Hex Innovate released the next version update for the GS911 diagnostic tool for BMW motorbikes, this lovely little device here. Um, and there's some pretty cool updates in this particular version. So I've got the press release here, so I'm just going to read directly from the press release for you. Uh, so the first one is the is the combi display, so the customizable combi display. So users can now configure the menu tiles on supported displays for easier navigation. Grayed out disabled controllers can be removed for a cleaner, more user-friendly interface. So that's a really cool option. You can reconfigure, you can move the tiles around so that your favorite places to go on your menu can be right at the front so you don't have to scroll all the way through. So that's a pretty cool update. Uh, check the model accessibility on that via the diagnostic tool. Um, it may or may not work. It's got here supported models R1250 GS and GSA, the F900 GS and GSA, the S1000R, RR and XR uh, from 2019 plus and more bikes. So just check on the on the Hex Innovate GS911 website to make sure that you can access that um, update. Uh, number two, lithium battery monitoring. So just in time for the winter months, this feature allows riders to monitor battery state of health, state of charge and battery guard status and for more models equipped with the XCCP domain controller. So the XCCP domain controller, it's essentially a CMU, a, an ECU, an electronic control unit. Um, if your bike has that, um, you will be able to access this feature with this particular update on the GS911 diagnostic tool. It says here supported models R129T, R1300 GS, GSA, CEO2 and others. So again, check the GS911 website to make sure that your bike can uh, support this with the update. Number three, keyless alarm control. So riders with keyless systems can now enable or disable their bike's alarm directly from their key fob, their keyless fob. Uh, so this adds a layer of extra convenience for the rider. Uh, supported models R12, R18, F900, GS and GSA, the C400, GT and GTX and more. Number four, seamless uh, device integration. When retrofitting an alarm or tire pressure monitoring system, users can now marry these devices to their bikes by writing the VIN into the controllers. Number five, expanded tire monitoring capabilities. More bikes with the XSLZ3 and XSLZ4 keyless controllers can now access real-time tire pressure and temperature data. Number six, new model support. So new models of, um, or more models being added to the GS911 diagnostic tool. The latest BMW 2024 models, including the C400X, F900 GS GSA, the S1000RR and M1000R have been added to the supported list. Number seven, the auto scan function now includes enhanced usability and a more granular progress bar. Uh, making the diagnostic process more transparent for bikes with numerous controllers. So there you have it. There is seven updates to this version. So make sure you plug your GS911 diagnostic tool into your laptop, get the latest update, and then you can start playing around with the new features. I'm now going to show you the, the first one that we talked about, and that's the display um, the display tiles, um, navigation tiles on the display. So I'm just going to set that up so that um, all of my favorite ones are right at the beginning. So I'm going to show you how to do that. On the R1200, the diagnostic port is sitting just behind this cover uh, to the battery. So it just sits next to the battery. So you need a, a Torx 25 socket. There we go. That's the cover off, nice and easy. And you may not be able to see it, but here's the battery, the battery cover, and there's just a little uh, diagnostic port next to it. You've got to push the clip in at the back to release it. And then that just pulls out the diagnostic port. So for the diagnostic port cover here, uh, there's two clips just on the side, push those in, and then pull down from the bottom and there we go. There's the port that the GS911 plugs into. So here we go. Let's plug that in. Easy as that. Just let that hang down. Okay then. So with the GS911 plugged into my bike, into the diagnostic port, 
and my ignition on, I'm going to go to the GS911 app. It should hopefully recognize, there we go. So on your options now, detected vehicle. The instrument cluster, service functions, coding functions, and of your menu here, we've got custom menu order. And then this is how it is currently set up in my um, TFT tile display. You can then change these and select the appropriate ones for whatever you want to have first, second, third, and fourth. So I've set mine up already, and all you would do then is click continue, and on your TFT display, it will register. It'll switch on and off the TFT display to say that it's actioned, and on here, the controller coding completed successfully. If I go to my menu now, So now settings is the first one, and then my vehicle, media, telephone, navigation, sport, and I've disabled all the other tiles. So those are the only tiles now that I have on my TFT display, and that's the way that I wanted it set up. So if you're after one of these tools, the GS911 from Hex Innovate, there's a link in the description underneath the video. Click on that, that'll take you to the shop and you can check for the relevant model of your motorcycle to make sure that you're ordering the correct one. So there you have it, that is the latest software update to the GS911 diagnostic tool from Hex Innovate. Any questions or comments, leave them down below the video or message me, billy at billysbikeadventures.com and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very soon.